Good afternoon from Florida. Got a kiln opening to show you. I'm using a tablet, so sometimes it's hard for me to see what it is I'm videoing. Is that a word? Okay, so some indigo float over Turkish amber, some pieces that are ready for the alumalina. Got a little caravan of airstreams going on there. Those two larger pieces that I wasn't quite sure how they were going to come out. I expected very dark because the whole thing was Turkish amber and some interesting breaking colors going on there with the bamboo ash and the pale seaweed. So Turkish amber is Laguna, bamboo ash is Laguna, pale seaweed is standard ceramic supply. Um, this is what happens when you lift a kiln shelf up and a post is stuck underneath it and you don't know it. It falls down and it breaks your plate, <laughs> which is really sad because it came out really pretty. Look at how pretty. But I could do it again. Couple coffee pour overs, some tumblers, what I call a salsa server or a double bowl, uh, abstract sort of tray. I just cut an abstract shape and then I take a little piece of a 2x4, press it down into the center to make the Rectangle, flat, texture it, and uh, same thing here, same kind of deal. If I hadn't dropped a post on the plate, I think it all came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. All of these very muted ones are the same thing, Turkish amber, maybe a third of it, bamboo ash, two-thirds, and then coming from the opposite direction, the pale seaweed. It's m most apparent on this. You can sort of see how I divide it up. And this is actually kind of pretty in the sun. Whee! <laughs> Don't get dizzy. Thanks for watching.